Does the thought of lifting heavy weights intimidate you? Do big burly athletes make you feel small? Well, you're in luck because starting on December 6th, Tito's Workout Crew will be held on every Wednesday at 3.40 in Mr. Kazini's room. There, you can feel right at home as you work off all that holiday weight. So go fall in with the Tito's Workout Crew. The Whiteout Dance is February 16th. Wear white and get the basketball game in for free. Then head over to the small gym and dance for free. If you went to the b-ball game, if you want to go to the dance, it is just $5 at the door. The dance will be from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Let's white out the gym and get our glow on. What's up, THS? This is Bo with the afternoon announcements. Spain students go to Schoology immediately and sign up for the donut sale. Stop and see Miss Ritter. Do you have any special, do you have a special someone? Do they like donuts? Well, just for $2, you can send them a donut, and all the proceeds will go toward the student's trip to the wonderful country of Spain. These donuts will be delivered on February 14th, just in time for Valentine's Day. Roots and Shoots Club is holding a pet food supply drive. The gym will time hour that collects the most items for chasing daylight shelter will win donuts. The activities department is now taking sign-ups for spring sports. Forms are available outside the activities of the activities office. Spring sports include boys and girls track, boys golf, boys tennis, basketball, girls soccer, and softball. Western Technical College will be hosting a construction careers and apprenticeship career fair on Thursday, February 15th at the London Center in the TC Lacrosse campus from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Mobile Food Pantry needs volunteers. If any students are interested in helping, they can just report to the fairgrounds next to the hockey building on February 6th at 3.30 p.m. The boys and girls powerlifting teams competed at Holman Invitational last weekend, finishing first in their weight classes, Saving Koss, Zach Mountain, and Blake Mosley, earning second place finishers Kendall Pollock, Michael Winchell, and Connor Perry. Oregon Arch finished third and also qualified for the state meet. Brandon Krog and Ethan Jewell finished in fifth place in their, in their respective classes. Congratulations to all lifters. And this has been Bo, signing off.